Welcome to the Veranda Entrepreneur Podcast. I'm Christine Mills. And today we are going to be talking about ways you can approach a bank for a loan. So if you are in a place where you're like, you know, I've exhausted my financing, my personal financing, my credit cards, my family and friends, and you really want to approach a bank for a loan, I am giving you five steps to make sure you are ready and make sure you know what you're doing when you're approaching the bank. So here we go. Number one, clean up your credit. That's right. They are looking at your personal credit and your business credit, but most of all your personal credit. So make sure you clean up your credit. In the underwriting process, banks will use your credit to assess your risk The first place they go to is your personal credit and then your business credit. So make sure that um, you have at least a 700 personal credit score. That way you could get a better interest rate. So um, pull your credit report, annualcreditreport.com. You're entitled to one free credit report per year. See where you stand. Reach out to your creditors. See if there's anything you could do to um, clean it up. Pay off your um, uh, some debt. Uh, Make sure you have like monthly payment arrangements if you can't pay it in full. Uh, But you'll be surprised some things that's on your credit report. So that's, it's so important to make sure you clean up your credit. Number two, know how much money you will need and what you'll need it for in your business. So this is a really good exercise um, because it's so easy to say, I need $1 million because no one will take you seriously. Even if you say $250,000 and you don't have the reason for it, no one will take you seriously. So you have to know exactly what you need the money for, how much it costs, and how to itemize it. So the best way to do that is get a sheet of paper and on one side put sources and the other side put uses. And start with each item that you need and um, the uses. So if you need uh, to buy a building. And the building costs two hundred thousand dollars. Put two hundred thousand dollars on the one side under uses. The source could be um, a bank loan, or you could say, "All right, I'm willing to put twenty percent down." So twenty percent of two hundred thousand dollars is forty thousand dollars. You see, the remainder of it will come from a bank loan. So you have to know exactly what you need. Equipment. You'll say how much it costs, so find, uh, reach out to the manufacturers or your inventory, find out how much it costs. So when you approach the bank, they will say, okay, so what's the cost of it? And you say, I've already reached out to them. This is the cost. This is how much my inventory will cost. This is how much my um, construction equipment will be. And you know it. And you you know it off the top of your head, the exact number. Bankers will take you seriously. Um, thirdly, Know how you can repay the loan and when you'll be able to repay the loan. Know how you can repay it and when you'll be able to repay it. So will it take you five years or 10 years? Always remember, the longer you stretch it out, the less your monthly payments will be. Just like a car. You know, if you have a five-year car loan or a six-year car loan, more likely the six-year car loan, all things considered, if the interest rate's the same, will be a lot less per month. So make sure that you know how long it'll take for you to pay it off and how you repay it. So um, number four, understand how interest works and how it will impact your payments. Don't be in a rush to get money and you don't fully understand the ramifications of high interest rate. So right now there are a lot of companies out there that are, you know, charging high interest rates for um um, to give companies working capital. And I get it, you know, because especially when you're a new company and you're starting to like, you know, you're growing and you need money and banks aren't looking at you yet. You don't have any wealthy family members or friends and you may need to take out these loans that are 18, 20%. I get it. But there are ramifications of these high interest rates. It may stunt your growth as a company because you're spending so much money to the bank or to these finance companies paying off your debt. So if it means for you to grow slower, um, uh, just to make sure that you can handle the payments, that might be better than trying to grow really quickly, really quickly, and you end up like drowning in debt. So beware of like high interest rate loans. And number five, think about what can happen if you can't repay and be comfortable with the second and tertiary repayment. 
So again, think about what can happen if you cannot repay your loan and be comfortable with the secondary and tertiary repayment. So usually the first payment, the primary is your business cash flow. Number two, the secondary will be your cash flow, the guarantor. And the third is going to be liquidation of collateral. So I'll give you an example. So if you are, you have a bottling company and you're selling lemonade and you went to a bank to borrow money to, um, for working capital and equipment that will help you bottle your, your, your lemonade better. Um, the, the first thing they're going to do is look at the cash flow. The money you have, the cash you have, not your income, but the cash you have to pay that loan payment each month. And if your business is not doing well, the next step they're going to do is come to you because you're the guarantor. And the third step is that they're going to liquidate your collateral, meaning all your inventory, all the equipment. They're going to do a short sell of your equipment if it comes to that point. They're going to take over your inventory. They're going to take over your building. They're going to take over all of that if that is part of your collateral. And you don't want to get to that point. But you also have to be comfortable if it comes to that point. So just, you know, those are the things that comes with borrowing money. And just make sure you are comfortable with it. So I'll start again. Just a recap if you're taking notes. One, clean up your credit. Order a credit report. See where you stand numbers don't lie. I'll say, you know, make sure your credit score is about 700 and up. Number two, know how much money you'll need and what you'll need it for in your business. Number three, know how you can repay the loan and when you'll be able to repay the loan. Number four, understand how interest works and how it will impact your payments. Number five, think about what you, what can happen if you cannot repay your loan and be comfortable with the secondary and tertiary repayment. Thanks so much for joining me again today um, on the Veranda Entrepreneur Podcast. I hope this helped. Uh, If you are ever looking at other topics I could discuss on the show, please be sure to shoot me a line and I'll definitely keep it in mind while I'm preparing the podcast. Uh, Again, uh, share the Veranda Entrepreneur Podcast with your family and friends and and include a rating and uh, subscribe to our podcast. That's pretty much all I ask as I continue um, sharing this wealth of information. We have some interviews coming up, which I'm really excited about. You'll hear more. Uh, coming soon. Um, So I'm right now, I'm in the process of interviewing a bunch of people for the rest of the year. So I'm thinking of all of you all while I'm selecting the entrepreneurs that I'll be interviewing. Um, Again, be safe out there with all this coronavirus. Hopefully we're coming down to the tail end of it. I'm praying for everyone and make sure you are safe and God bless.